You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the game of making Bacon. It's a dice game, and uh, we're excited because we have a lot of different games to show you this month in January. This one here is a delicious dice game for the whole family, so if you know a bacon fan or someone who loves bacon, or even someone who just loves dice games, they'll probably like this one. i got to give it a shot here. It's for two to six players, aged eight to adult. And I have to say, the packaging is really nice. That almost makes you want to eat that bacon up there. And it looks like there's bacon inside, but there's something in there. It looks like uh, bacon like you'd get in the package. So not much on the side. And then the back, the back kind of looks like an informational or like a food fact on the back. It says game facts. How it works. Roll the dice to make combinations. Keep rolling to add to your score, but roll too much and lose everything. Roll a make and bacon to get a big score. Includes complete instructions. 100% daily requirement of family fun. It's a TDC Games. And we need to check it out. So let's get in here. Make and bacon. What's that all about? Okay, so there's the dice. Here's that inner card that was covering the front window there. That's a nice handy score sheet. So it's a scoring game. Let's just take a look at this instruction booklet. Open it up. Okay, so there's score sheets. And then the instructions are here. So let's just take a quick gander at this. Now anytime I learn a new game, it takes me a little time to understand it. And then when you play it, of course little questions come up. So this is more of a, let's check it out and see what it's all about. So to accumulate 6,000 points by rolling winning combinations of the combinations of the make and bacon dice before picking out. Each player rolls one die. The first person to roll a make and goes first. Write all the names on a score sheet. So a player takes a turn uh, by rolling all six dice at once. Okay, let's take a look at these. So we got making on this side. Let me just set all my makings straight up here. Making bacon. Okay, and it looks like if we flip. Okay, so they're all the same size there. So there's no difference. And then if we just turn them all, the A's are there. And then the making is there. Okay, so that's that. So there is the scoring. So let me just do a sample roll here. So looking at this now, I have two B's, which I don't think mean anything because, well, one B is 100, so that's 250, it looks like. And then the single C, N's, and A's do not have any numbers because as you look here, the goal here, let's see, otherwise you'd have six, you could easily have 600 points because if they, each of the individual letters were 100, so... Only Macon and the large B are 100 or 50, and then the three A's, the three C's going up the list, and then all the Macons, if you get one, two, three, four, five Macons, it's 1,500 points. If you get six of a kind, it's 2,000 points, and if you get Macon Bacon, that equals 6,000 points. So a player must save a choice of die or dice combinations with point values before rolling the other dice. Okay. So I'm going to say right now, I have 250, almost like their example here. And that is three more I'm going to roll here. So after choosing how many dice to re-roll, the original point value must increase in order to keep your turn. If not, you have pigged out. So if I roll something that is just all letters, I have just pigged out because I have not increased my score, it looks like. So let's say I roll again. And that's what I just did. So I have pigged out because I did not increase my score. And the dice go to the next player. So there's a 400 point rule. You must keep adding to your dice total and it's minimum of 400 points. At which time you can choose to quit and bank your score or chance pigging out by continuing to roll and to add more points. Each roll is unique. A re-roll cannot be combined with the previous roll to make a dice combination. For example, if you have three A's. Okay, let's say I have three A's. And I re-roll three A's, like they're saying. That is not six of a kind. 
Okay, that is not 2,000 points. That is three sets of A's. That's 400 points. So three A's, two sets. Uh, let's see. If your roll score is 400 or more and all six of your dice have scoring value, you can pick out by rerolling all six. So I guess if I have six B's or five B's and one making, that means they're all scorable. I can say, all right, I'm going to take a chance and re-roll the whole thing. And uh, however, you must add to your score with the full roll or your score will be zero. Winning each player's score sheet should be accumulated on a score sheet. When the first player reaches or exceeds 6,000 points, each other player takes one turn in an effort to beat the high score. If no one does, the first player is the winner. All right. That's the game of making bacon. Let me just, uh, it's fun just to toss dice and see what you get. So here's that scoring sheet. I'll leave it so you can see it. Here, yeah, right there. That's good, huh? Because I want, so I've got two makins, three makins on that. So based on this, three makins is 400 points, and it looks like now I can just bank that if I want, or I can try to increase my score. I'm going to bank that. I could see this being a fast, fun family game. Now I have, really, I have three A's, just like their example they had. So right now I have 200, I'm going to re-roll. So now I have to beat my score. Um, which I did, because these are all scorable now, because I have 100, 200, and then 50. So that's a pretty good score. So I would either bank that, or pig out, and just say, I'm going for it, and either beat it or not beat it. Pretty neat. But I want to roll a make and bacon. Wouldn't that be cool in one roll? So this would be something that, uh, yeah, it would be fast-paced. And you'd have to keep your scores. Two makings. Ooh, B, A, C. Close. Close again. If this was an N, I would have had making bacon. Let's do it one more time. Oh, man. The two Bs I got, those are 100 each. And a 50, but nothing there. Oh well. I think you get it. Looks like a fun little dice game. So any bacon fans out there, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. The game of making bacon. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.